I guess the question that everybody's definitely wants to know is like, and I, and I know this because you was on Broadway, you were nominated, you were 19 year old for a Tony, but can Haley really sing like Jukebox? <laughs> or even better than Jukebox? Is I Haley think, Jukebox? I think I would be willing to go up against Jukebox in a singing competition any day. She would intimidate the hell out of me, but I think I'd be able to do it. <laughs> I mean, when, when you, like, what part of you and Jukebox uh, have the same similarities? You, you the, the person, Haley, with the, with the character that you're playing, like, where, where does the, where does, where's the common denominators between you two? We are so serious. We're both so serious about our craft. Uh, Jukebox doesn't play with her music. I'm currently working on music right now. I don't play with my music. Um, and we're going to do whatever we can to make sure that we make it and that we make our families proud. So I would definitely say that that's the big similarity. And you were doing teen pageants and competitions. And you had to do the August Wilson monologue. Which play did you pick? And uh, I mean, which, which monologue did you which, I don't want you to give me the monologue, but which, which August Wilson play did you uh, take the monologue from? Yeah, so I did, you did your research. So I got to do it twice. Um, my first play I did was Ma Rainey's Black Bottom. I did Ma Rainey's Act Two, Scene One monologue. I've been doing this for years. And then my last year that I came to nationals and performed on Broadway, I did Fences, which was also Act Two, Scene Two. And that was like, I've been standing with you. <laughs> How was it? It was cool. No good to be gone. Clear my head, see what else is out there. Realize sometimes it feel like, shit, that this is all there is. I'm not sure that's enough. I don't know. I'm, I'm not sure if this shit is for me, man. You know what I mean? What? Yo, I'm Dev. Uh. Man, Pat, Eric, everybody, they always asking about you, wondering why you didn't come down. I told them it was because you had some shit up here you was trying to figure out, so you good. Man, it just didn't feel right going down to the beach after all that. Truth is, it's not like staying here made nothing better, neither. I missed the hell out you, kid. Of course you did. You didn't have nobody to listen to your whiny ass bullshit. Nigga, I just got back. I don't miss you. I didn't miss you then. Whatever. Fine. Cool. I'm just here. No, no yeah. I, I, I know in season two, we get to see uh, like ju 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 Jukebox's uh, broken relationship with, with, her, with her mom and, uh, and other things that's going on. Um, and, I, and I know that, I mean, uh, I don't know what your business but that you were, were uh, adopted uh, as, as a child by. by you know, by, by Paris, is, is there anything that you feel in the way that Jukebox is feeling about whatever happened that the audience doesn't know about her and her mom yet, that, that you can relate to with just growing up in the situation that, that you were raised in? Yeah, I think there's just that, it's the general feeling of a longing of wanting to know where you come from. I think, jukebox knows where she comes from and she has her family but she doesn't know very much because she doesn't really have a good relationship with marvin and she doesn't know her mom so i definitely really relate to that just wanting to know my story and where i come from yeah, yeah. how is the outfits because i mean you wear like these I, I i don't know i don't know what brand these tommy hill figure shirts and jackets and it just doesn't seem like i'm looking at you today it doesn't seem like you would walk out in a jukebox outfit on the block. <laughs> Is that correct? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. No, I love, I, we, our fashion sense is polar opposites and I kind of love it. Like I love rocking the polo gear and the Tims. They always try to put me in different shoes and I always want to wear the Tims. Always. So yeah, definitely polar opposites, but that's what makes it really fun. And I know the Power Universe had already been, um, you know, successful and then and, and ha 
has a track record of coming back for season two. But Raising Canaan being a new a new chapter in that in that universe. How excited were you when you found out that there would be a season two and that this is that that this show that this story is continued? Oh man, I was so excited. Season one, we left it off in such an incredible place. Like if you want to talk about a show that leaves off with fireworks, literally, oh, that last scene with Patina standing on the rooftop is my favorite thing ever. So the fact that we got to do a season two was a big blessing and I'm really excited to watch it for sure. Well, I'm really excited for everybody to get to know Haley Gilmore more and to see season two. So keep on doing your thing and, uh, and I can't wait to see one of those monologues one day <laughs> on the stage and you know, when people start doing your monologues for competitions, that'll be, that'll be what it is. Thank you, thank you so <laughs> thank much. You.